Okay, so uh, I still don't have any charge on this with my AutoZone charging or alternator. Um, here's my old ECU, old key, old immobilizer right there. There's the one that I bought. Um, the immobilizer, you can kind of get to it. Oops. Um, take off this bolt. The immobilizer is this right back here. So take off that next bolt. You can kind of see that it uh, it's a backwards nut. So or the nut just sitting right there. Um, oh, and make sure you have your immobilizer like ring on because I was trying to start it like this and it would not start. So that's cool. And I forgot about that. Um, make sure everything is connected over here for your starting. Um, so yeah. Uh, this is the key for that that immobilizer. I'll probably just put this one back in so I don't have one for the ignition. Um, and this this other one for the the doors, or the trunk, and then this one for the doors and my key fob if it even works. So I'll probably put this back in. I bought another alternator from MitsubishiParts.com or something like that. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully, I'll get this thing charging. It hasn't charged yet. You can kind of see everything works. So. Oh, that's the wrong one. <laughs> see? So, I don't even get a battery light, which is the funny part. Oh, that kind of hurt. So... And if you couldn't tell, I've already torn this apart, replaced the bulb. So, I don't know, because the, the actual battery light doesn't even come on yet. So, I don't know what the problem is or what the issue is, but we're going to try an alternator. Because I got my AutoZone alternator, I guess. But it doesn't work. We'll kind of charge her back up. Starts up, runs, just doesn't keep charging, so... Because I'll keep you guys updated on how that goes. 